Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to build what I think is the smallest 7 segment display counter in Bedrock Edition. Now I do have to give credit to Peter Jang WT who originally built this in Job Edition and I wouldn't have been able to build it in Bedrock Edition without him or his design to be clear. Um, he built something very similar in Java Edition, and this is more of an adaption for Bedrock Edition. But I thought it was very cool, so I want to show it to you guys. Because the adaptions of his build in Bedrock Edition are usually massive, and they can be much, much smaller, just like this one. Now, the design is actually tileable, as you can see. Um, not only is it fast, but it also cannot break. So if you try to hit the spam this button, the worst thing that happens is that it fails to fire and just have to press it again. But that doesn't actually break it. And you can also even use this button while the other one is being used, which is useful if you're trying to do a manual reset. So you just go ahead and set that to 9, and then you bring this one back to 0. And now you have a reset. <clears throat> so there is no automatic reset because of the size that it is. Um, but there are some bigger designs out there that do have a manual reset. But anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. So, for this build, what you're going to need is... Three slime blocks, two obsidian, 13 redstone lamps, nine normal pistons, two sticky pistons, six comparators, one observer, one stack of blocks, six glass, one button, two redstone repeaters, and 31 redstone dust. Now, what you can do with this build is use either cauldrons to build it or furnaces. What I suggest that you do is, if you're in a survival world and you're just starting out and are low on resources, use furnaces. Otherwise, use cauldrons, such as a more advanced survival world or even creative. You'd have to be crazy to um, use furnaces if you're in creative because there's no point in doing it. Using furnaces is cheaper but takes longer to build. That's why you use cauldrons when you have the chance to for convenience sake. If you're using furnaces, you're going to need five stacks of blocks and 36. I would bring your ugliest, least useful blocks. And if you're using cauldrons, just go ahead and bring a water bucket and a glass bottle. You only need one water bucket because with one of these, you can fill up as many glass bottles as you want and it never completes. Not like a cauldron. Anyways, let's get on with how to build this. So you're going to start off by building something like this. Now, keep in mind that these blocks do not need to be obsidian, but uh, personally, I think they look much better if they are obsidian. So if you want to, you can just go ahead and replace that with a normal block. But anyways, once you have this built up, you're going to place a button here. This is going to be your input. And you're going to place three blocks just like this with the redstone on them. A stick piston there and an observer just like that. You're going to have blocks like this and just like that and you're going to place redstone on top of these and here you are going to have pistons. Now even though it looks like the redstone's headed into this piston it's actually still powering this block so this piston will extend anyways. Now what you're going to do next is go up like this and place redstone just like that. Now here what you're going to do is place some redstone dust there, a repeater set to two ticks of delay going into a block and then place another block there. Now down here you are going to place three normal pistons just like that and then some redstone dust right there. So this a repeater is going to go into this block, power this, which will also power these two blocks, which activate the pistons. Now up at the top right here, what we're going to do is go ahead and place three or a couple of blocks there, and then some redstone dust at the top, just like this, and some pistons facing downwards. And over here, what we're going to do next, we're going to actually leave that um, for the end. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and place our comparators. So, place a block there, comparator there, and some redstone dust there. Now place a comparator, a block, and some redstone dust. And then a 
comparator, a block, and some redstone dust. You can go ahead and remove the blocks underneath. You don't have to though. Now we're going to place a comparator, two pieces of redstone dust, and at the top we are going to do something like this. So comparators on the side right here and blocks right there. And you're also going to place some blocks here so that it pretty much splits up the signal. That's pretty much it for that part. And here what we're going to do is place three blocks just like that, then grab your slime blocks and place a sticky piston right there. Now we're going to pretty much have this go up just like that and it's going to be going into a block actually. So repeat set two ticks of delay and then some redstone dust up there. And now I can go ahead and test it and it should look something like that. Okay guys, so when it shows the numbers pretty much um, that's one, that's two, and that's three. You know, it's simple, it's pretty much the water level. And for the furnaces, the numbers that are shown, it's pretty much going to be the amount of items that you have in it. So once you have all of your cauldrons or furnaces in place, the final thing that you need to do is place a block there and a comparator right here. Now, if you build another one right next to it, they will link up. And when this one resets, it'll pretty much send a pulse. Let me demonstrate. So if we add redstone here, you can see that that's going to extend once it reaches zero and this would activate the monostable circuit inside of it. So, 8, 9, and then it reaches 0, and it extends. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and the design. This took too long, much longer than I'm willing to admit. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!